Good morning everyone. Welcome to Suburban Stone Age. I wanted to do a quick update on a project that I'm working on. Um, it's the Fresnelland Solar Cooker. You've already seen a version of it uh, working um, with the terracotta pot and the big coat or the clothes hanger rack used as a stand. But I wanted to change the design a little bit um, and see if I could get it to move more easily with a solar powered motor. But more on that later. In order to do that I needed to have it swivel and be adjustable and all these things. So anyway, long story short, what ended up happening is we were throwing away an old box spring and also since we had the dumpster in our house, someone threw in an old office chair. So I got the idea to use the parts from those two things. Um, I'll use the office chair as a base, as you can see right there. Um, I took the foam off the seat. I basically broke it down and saved the parts. But I like the swivel base, the little pneumatic pump that takes it up and down is good for adjusting and it swivels really easily even with a lot of weight on it which is what I needed um, for the Fresnel lens cooker and it's, it's very mobile, like I can move it around the yard very easily. So that seemed to be like a hopeful answer. And then I just need to build a frame for the Fresnel lens that can be mounted onto that chair and that came from the wood from the box spring. So sorry I didn't make a video of me actually tearing down the box spring. I was working pretty fast just to get it done. Um, I basically just unscrewed and unstapled everything there was um, and the parts are here. So that's part of the frame. That metal bar propped up against the shed is its spine. Um, these are the slats from it and there's the padding and then those are the actual springs that I was able to detach. So the project for now is to finish cleaning up that final frame. This part here, this wooden part is going to be for the Fresnel lens, the holder. I'm going to cut it down. Got to get all the staples and nails out of it. Cut it down then mount it to the chair and my goal today is to have uh, a refurbished Fresnel lens cooker that's a little bit easier to deal with than my other one and hopefully in the future can be powered by a solar motor. Alright, more to come! Okay everybody, it's some hours later and I have the frame for the lens built now. This is all lumber from the box spring from the twin bed. Had to patch it a few times um, just to make it work, but it works. And I'm not the greatest at woodworking, I'm still learning but um, I think this is going to work. So I'm going to mount the lens here pretty soon and we'll uh, show you again how it looks. Okie dokie, here it is with the Fresnel lens mounted. I cut little notches in and mounted it with screws. So now it can pivot different angles in response to the seasons. It can turn back and forth and swivel. So can track the sun during the day. So I'm going to put a few more finishing touches on it and then we're going to mount, I wanted to do a bounce mirror design with this, so we'll mount the bounce mirror and then finally hang the cooking pot off the uh, peg in the back. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so here we go. It's all finished now and it's set out in the sun and I, like I say, want to try the bounce thing. I just don't think I have, uh, the bounce mirror, I just don't think I have enough time today. So I did start out with uh, water that was 74 degrees and I put it in the Dutch oven and it's now 109 degrees and climbing. So I'm going to monitor that throughout the day, see how it goes. There's a little refinements yet to be done but I'm actually pretty stoked. It's easy to move around. It does take up a lot of space but that's just kind of the nature of the beast. But uh, I'm liking it. All right, um, I'll give you the final follow-up. We'll see how hot we can get that water, see if we can boil it and do some cooking. All right, everyone, uh, it's in the afternoon, probably almost 4 o'clock p.m. The pot's been out for a little while now, and we're up to 170 degrees and climbing. So this will probably be my final video for the day, but I'm going to leave the pot out as long as I can part of the beauty of this new situation is that I can park it in a more favorable position uh, and capture a lot more sun than I was with my other design and so I can leave the pot together 
um, heat for longer. So that's what I'm going to do. But like I say, it keeps climbing. I come out every 15, 20 minutes and give it a little nudge so it, it follows the sun. Eventually, I'm going to mount a um, solar tracker that uses solar panels and a little solar driven motor. So it'll follow the sun by itself all day, but that's going to have to come later. So that's it. I'm really, really happy with this solar cooker and we'll keep playing with it and um, see what exciting things we can do using zero fossil fuels and only the power of the sun. All right. Thanks for watching.